I'm Sarah Shank. I graduated from Bryn Mawr in 1987 as a History of Art major. I'm Margaret Sclafani, and I graduated from Bryn Mawr in 2008 as an anthropology major, film studies, and French minor. Even though I was an anthropology major, I kind of knew I wanted to do film. And at the Career Center, there were like these binders of people, and Sarah was one of the <laughs> <laughs> few filmmakers in the group, I think. Um, and I applied to do an externship with her over spring break, right before graduating, I think. I lived in a little apartment with my husband, two very small children. I think my parents might have been visiting. It was pandemonium. <laughs> it was a highly challenging work atmosphere to get anything done, especially something as often complex as finishing post-production on a feature film. And one of the many remarkable things about Margaret is that she is unflappable. You know, it's been a great uh, pleasure for me that we have become friends, as well as colleagues and collaborators um, over these past uh, nearly 20 years now. That's one of the many things for which I'm grateful to Bryn Mawr and grateful to Margaret. <laughs> the Invisible Extinction uh, came into being because one of my two daughters almost died from an anaphylactic reaction to a cookie. We went from knowing that my daughter had no allergies because we did test her, and then suddenly she had become highly allergic to certain foods. In the emergency room, they said, we have no idea why people get allergies. It's a mystery. And I thought, that is a very <laughs> unsatisfying statement to hear in an emergency room. We have no idea why this happened. And so I started researching like so many people do when they have a serious health issue. And what I came across was that there was this emerging area of research. This is now a little over a decade ago. We suddenly could look at the microbes inside our bodies and on our bodies and actually see that they seem to be really important to being healthy. That hypothesis, which has been building more and more evidence in this decade, that is that diminishing our microbes can lead to bad health outcomes on a lot of fronts, that really galvanized me. If, if there's some way that some knowledge that I've learned could help other families avoid this, that would make me feel really happy. When I was making my first feature film, my dad asked me if I was doing something that was making the world a better place. And I kind of stopped it. You know, that's not my job as an artist to make the world a better place. I'm trying to make something that's, uh, you know, uh, provocative commentary and starts a conversation and I have come around to thinking that his question is actually a very good question and I do feel embarrassed saying this but I do uh, aspire to make the world a better place through my work.